Hello friends, today I'm going to read from my new book, my latest book of poems. It's called uh, Corona Doldrums. Uh, most of the poems were uh, written during the lockdown in India in 2020. And uh, now um, uh, there is some hope from vaccination and a lot of things have gone by. Uh, I I think uh, this book covers the period from March last year to March this year, or rather to Feb this year, around 12 months. Um, there are many poems, over 100 poems. I'm going to read at random. This one is called The Humans. Uh, for almost all the titles, uh, if they are taken out of the book, uh, they should be called The Humans in Corona Doldrums. Or uh, if I take another time, uh, another title, it would be Success in Corona Doldrums. Then The Dogs in Corona Doldrums. The Tyrants in Corona Doldrums. So that is how the teacher in Corona Doldrums, the workers in Corona Doldrums, laughter in Corona Doldrums, control in Corona Doldrums, and then the lover, the lover in Corona Doldrums. Maybe I should be reading it today. And then there are poems like more departures that is about death there's a poem on death also death in corona doldrums then more departures in corona doldrums then unlock that's precisely poem number 80 unlock was uh, in may 2020 and then uh, there were other things that cropped up like depression unemployment the webinars poetry first money worries and then the nations then we had the monsoons online orders online examinations and i've written two poems one is the examinations in corona doldrums which is from the teacher's perspective and online examinations is from the student's perspective maybe i should be reading that today and then you have the writers what they did and then Black fungus, which cropped up very late, uh, almost in 2021. Then the lighting of lamps. This is related to. Um, this is related to the Diwali festival, which was not celebrated. Then the eyes in Corona doldrums is related to uh, traveling, and the eyes were actually safe because we were not facing so much population for pollution the unknown citizens this is about uh, mass graves then vaccination so i think i'll read out three poems all two of them are at least long the humans introspection begs a probe into the stone age when a human had struck two flints to create a blaze that would make the four-legged cower and run. Introspection seeks explanation for the brilliance of the spear that the Iron Age human carved out of the dull earth's crust. Or reread Aryabhata to seek an explanation in his sophisticated insights into the irrational. What did Abraham the patriarch see in the universe when he said, there is only one God. Ramananda said he was happy at home because you go to a temple only if Brahman were not here. We have stood tall before the test of time when Democritus tried to figure out the empty space between eternally moving atoms when he said atoms are indestructible. Did he also see some strength in humankind? When the Buddha strode on the surface of the earth, he worried over the mechanism which keeps people trapped in the cycle of birth. 
Very few knew the magic of his words, that which brought a raging elephant to a halt. We can ask Megasthenes, who faltered not in his astronomical count and brought to the common intellect the mysteries of space beyond earth. When he poured his ink with detailed accounts of the Indian rivers, what was he thinking? When these great minds found a clue to the cycles of birth and death in the human world, as linked to the cycles of birth and death in other organisms, did they also find a string for our ceaseless support? Did Muhammad the prophet preach how the blood vessels carried both good and bad bacteria, trying to create a balance in the universe? With fevers and cuts healing one by one, did our universe that Aryabhata measured with great precision, just tottering and stumbling roll on, regardless of humans? Also, can it be a guarantor of the defeat of all ills, that which Shushruta saw in the good of 700 medicinal plants? Okay, jump to the lover, page 106. This one is a, an emotional lyrical poem, obviously. Separated lover because of the lockdown. No day have I seen through fragile clouds and frosted gleams like this day. While all the while the thunder howled, the crazy cries of the world, I foresaw the forked tongue of the months ahead without you, my beloved. The malignant stars have forced us to live in storms and wars, lovelorn, torn into waves and ragged in wounds, naked and fierce, wander I. With each wave of the deceptive news, the mad tempest that ravages time in my heart does my, make me bleed. All my hopes are devout, all my labor and my art revoked. The witch wakes in the dead of night, kicks the pulsing body to dreams denied in daytime. This sudden parting leverages love, closure glues, closer glues us heating and melting. I lie in spring's close curtains, green grass, scattered with wild flowers, jasmine, cosmos, balsam, what color and what smell? Verdant green screens this abject role of languishing, which rebounds with craving, ragged in wounds, naked and fierce, and nips in the bud all my being. My solitary time flies away helplessly in isolation forced. So then we have a poem. I can read online orders or I can read online. This is from the student's perspective. Online examinations in Corona Dolphins. It's a mix of new technology with the age old handwritten exam sheets. Just when we are heading towards copy paste ease of learning, where the mind is restful and the pages are virtual. There comes an induction to copy it all by hand, scan and email. Imagine, laws. So, probably ending with that wouldn't look nice. So, I end with the last point. Or there's one on Kobe Shield. There's the delusion. This is nice. I mean, I am praising myself. The delusion. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. He would put all the conflicts with the neighbors to rest and pursue a world parliament in the best of human interest. But all about me I see new causes of clashes emerging from the self-same human plight that was ready to flee these those egoists that resume every fight. Never look back and never look ahead while arrogant armies clash by night thank you here's the book bye